Hey, it's Coach Nick Tuminello. I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up and how to perform the hands-free side plank. I learned this exercise or I adapted this exercise from a red cord exercise I learned from Tyler Joyce out of the Neurotic Institute in New Jersey. So Tyler, I appreciate you showing me this exercise. And I also want to thank my, my new friends at Athletes Arena in Columbia, South Carolina. Just got my badass shirt and uh, had a great time with those guys. So. Let's get down to showing you how this thing is done. So first thing, I'm going to put my foot on top of a bench. Roughly at the average gym bench is about the right height we found for this. We've tried lower heights and higher heights, and this is normally about perfect. Notice my ankle bones are off the bench. If my foot is further up, it tends to put some weird pressure on your ankle. So just the sides of your shoe, bones off the bench. I want the pad, something like a folded towel, pillow, whatever, Eric's pad, just underneath my chest. From here, I'm going to go big chest, stack my feet. This hand, top hand, is going to grab my bottom shoulder, and I'm going to pull it down as I lift my chest up. That prevents me from getting all jammed up like this. And then this hand is going to bring this down. So I go chest up, and then I lift up. And then as I lift up, notice my hips come slightly towards you, because it's impossible to stay, uh, to maintain uh, full extension here. i got to go into a little bit of flexion to drop down. So I'm going to go into extension and then A, B, duction on this side as I come up. If I want to progress, I can go into lifting up the top leg. And you can either do it dynamically, or you go up and down, or I can just hold it for periods of time. I don't want to hold it here or here. It just depends on your level. Now, I've actually been using this exercise more often than we use a basic side plank, whether it be here, or whether it be here, or even elevating your feet. They're all great variations. For two reasons, without getting too specific into shoulder dysfunctions or shoulder aches and pains, starting from this position, a lot of people tend to get really jammed up here, and then just putting yourself in that position sometimes is very limited by the shoulder and not from the core. So this hands-free or elbow-free position eliminates any possibility of the shoulder interfering with your performance. So a lot of people don't have great shoulder stability, so that eliminates that. Second and more important, more functionally, when I start with my feet low, lower than my torso, see my torso is higher than my feet, I'm creating a top-down contraction. Starting from here and then going down the chain. But when I start with my torso lower than my feet, I'm creating a bottom-up contraction. And I'm really targeting the lateral glutes more than if I did it with my the traditional version on my elbow. And that is actually what we're trying to get at. We're really trying to get at this area and not trying to get it at this area with a lateral plank, at least hopefully. So from an athlete's perspective, if I'm going to cut, let's bring the camera up. If I'm going to cut, step and cut to change direction to go that way, that's from the bottom up, not from the top down. So not only are you getting working the muscles in a little safer, more effective manner, but there's a little more carryover to change of direction, lateral movement on the hands-free version than on the traditional elbow plank version. That's why I like it a little bit better. It's a little bit safer, a little more functional, but both exercises are great. Give the hands-free side plank a try.